Yo, what's going on, folks? What up, what up, y'all? Your boy Doug here with the gang in the ITC podcast, man. This is episode 40. Mm hmm. 40, damn. This is a nice little milestone we got here, man. Yep. yep. Getting our little stripes in the game. You feel me? <laughs> How's your fellas doing on this evening? Man, I'm good, man. Just uh, living life, you know, uh, being thankful, you know. Mm hmm. And thank for even though 2020 is a, a definite a a hell of a year, um, mm -hmm. it's still a whole lot to be thankful for. So, you know, just thankful Thank to be you. here, thankful to be in the presence of a uh, good company. Hey, but can't beat that. Never. Can never hey, beat that. It's thankful, it's a holiday season, so it's always the time to be jolly, you know. <laughs> But, uh, but now, other than that, I'm just thankful that, he, like Joe said, even through with all the ups and the super downs of 2020, I'm just blessed and thankful that I'm still here. I actually you, part of episode 40. I'm still hey. being still here. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's the biggest thing, man. And it's just crazy because, you know, we are here. And I think people are just starting to realize not to, like, take life for granted as much. Mm -hmm. Um as much as you know the deaths we've seen unexpectedly uh, i think mm -hmm. people are trying like starting to realize like, hey man i need to start living you know what i'm saying or start checking on that one friend and dropping mm -hmm. them egos and just mm -hmm. try to spread more love because you never know man um you just never know who you're not able to reach out to and it's funny because i was watching the uh the breakfast club interview of Jordan lucas if y'all haven't watched it y'all should check it out Mm -hmm. Um, and he was saying that uh, what inspired him to do the wheel track is that he was totally inspired by Will and felt like Will wasn't getting the his his roses and his just um, uh, all the credit he deserves and stuff like that. And he said, uh -huh. um, the death of Kobe actually uh, pushed him to create that record. Well, mm -hmm. so that way he can let him know how he feel about him while he was here and able to see it. So, um, yeah. I felt like that was dope. And he hopped on the track. That was dope, too. We hopped, on hopped on the track, got to meet him, got to yeah. kick it and go to his house and stuff. It's, it's um, you never know, man. Just just putting that out there, man. You, ne you mm -hmm. never know, man, how, how stuff. Uh, but, you know, Will is a legend to me personally. Um, <laughs> I grew up, like, really idolizing Will Smith on a lot of the stuff he did. And, um, yeah, like, just for whoever, whomever, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a celebrity. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, I think families kind of need to start kicking the little BS aside and you know, all Facts. the little you know, did you, did you check out? Did you check um, out the reunion? I have not yet, man. My wife, uh, she keep oh, telling me about it, and uh, man. it's just I ain't have HBO Max, and I ain't <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, okay. Man. So, what I did was, uh, okay, you got the uh, <laughs> jewels. Man. Me and Carrie wanted to, wanted to watch it, so all I did was I just did the seven day free trial, and okay, I just, and I just I just watched it because I was like I'm probably only gonna watch it like one time to understand like what's going mm -hmm. on. Right, but um, yeah, I just did the seven day free trial. I mean, you might want to get HBO HBO Max because HBO Max is about to be like super lit, uh, in a little bit. But um, uh, I just got it and watched it, and man, when I tell you, bro, like. That hoe is is a real tear jerker, my nigga. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Like when they who put they these onions the here? Tribute, man, man like, yeah. I'm talking about a whole rack full of onions, dog. Just, <laughs> the Uncle what what Phil part is is enough. Yeah. To, to get you. Oh man. man, I had to watch, but I did. I did see a clip the the segment that Will and the first unveiled. Mm -hmm. I did see yeah. that, and I didn't know that it got that deep. Oh, it got deeper than what they was even like. What they even talked about in the show, in the in the in the in the, in the whole little, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The debate between yeah. not the debate, but in the whole little section where you know they kind of like was basically apologizing to each other for you know all the years of the bad things that they yeah. had said to one another, and you know just the time that's passed or whatever where they could have been like squashed everything, but didn't. Mm -hmm. It was like it was completely. It was deep deep like you know it was it was it was it was so deep to where like you know the you know the media and how people pick up on certain things so you know she right. kind of like 
she she not only said bad things about Will, but she also said a lot of bad things about Alfonso Rivera too as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. And um it was a it was a situation where people noticed, and I did too, uh, that um Alfonso Rivera, when he brought um uh Janet Hubert on the set to to kind of like have a reunion with everybody, he wasn't there. So people looked at it like, oh, well, they must still have a problem or like, you know, like he he must was like, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to be around it. But in actuality, they they shot that um, the whole thing within like three days. Mm-hmm. And because of his contractual obligations to uh, America's Funniest Home Videos, uh, he had to work the day that she was coming to oh. the set. So it was like, it looked it looked bad because everybody was like, oh, they must still be tripping. But like, it wasn't really that, you know. Right. But uh, it was it was still a, a really 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 good reunion show that I think y'all should definitely if y'all were fans of the Fresh Prince, uh, his fans of Will Smith, then you should definitely check it out because there's so many memorable moments, so many uh, behind the scenes stuff that we didn't know about, mm-hmm. you know, so many different stories that and everybody was literally there like. Ross Bagley, who played Little Nicky, he was he, oh, he wound up, he wound up coming. So you know, Nikki. it's like, <laughs> right? yes. it, it was it was dope, bro. So y'all definitely check it out. I'm gonna definitely check it out, man, because um, I already know that I'm I'm being in my like, bro, I ain't know that. Oh, that's crazy. Like you know, I was, mm-hmm. especially the scene about the. Uh, I definitely want to hear him talk about the scene where he was crying. He he had me emotional when he was crying about his dad leaving. And my dad was there. I don't know why. I was just like, <laughs> oh, why does this affect me? My dad's right here. <laughs> it hurts. Why well, you don't love me, man? But, uh, yeah, it's so and it's funny because in that scene, that. you can hear somebody crying too, like at the end of the, the scene. Oh, yeah. Like, you can mm-hmm. hear, like, man, a crazy thing about that man. was they, they, they actually, that was a, uh, that was a, that was, that was the day of, of one of their live recordings. So mm-hmm. they had the audience. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you know, actually there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually there the day that they was recording that. So he he goes into that whole little like scene and in the the moment that him and James shared, you know. So it was it was it was it was really um if you, if you're a big fan of like black sitcoms, like after watching that, you are gonna want to see like oh well damn we can we get a a a a, 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 a Family Martin, Matters you know, or Martin yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Family Matters actually already did one. Family they did, one, they did, one, they did do ago, one. Yeah, yeah, it was on. It's on YouTube. Um, which oh, they got damn. everybody there um, on Family Matters. Oh, old girl that went up the stairs and never came back. <laughs> uh, Jamie, no, I don't know. They didn't do Jamie. She wasn't on there. She was still on. That's her. cold, bro. I never forget that. They was like, bro, this this is when she went up the stairs and never was seen again. <laughs> like, damn, bro. It get real, but now nah, it, it, it kind of make you miss them little moments, bro. Where black sitcoms had that the, the different diverse. Like I love Fresh Prince because it's like it just it didn't just show like oh we we broke you know what I'm saying like it, it was another mm-hmm. spin on it just like the Cosby was another spin of too successful and then you had your Martin you know homie trying to get it and at the end you know he makes it you know where he's really really successful and um. Is is I love to see like Family Matters too, like when uh, Steve Urkel finally gets Laura. <laughs> you know, oh, and it's just, yeah, it's just kind of it, it's it's dope, man. It makes you miss the moments in TV because it, mm-hmm. it it was really felt a part of the shows. So, um, you no, know, it's crazy. What's crazy is is that I've been watching all of these sitcoms again on Netflix because they all just right, so happen right. to be on Netflix now. So I've been watching. Uh, I went back and watched uh, Sister Sister, which I realized Sister Sister was a really good sitcom. Yeah, but, like it was. it was super underrated. The acting was super underrated. Like it was, like they were all hitting the cues. You know, when they needed to be, the comedic relief was like right on time. Uh, uh, watching, I just went. Me, I'm starting to watch One on One again, and how good that show actually was, and just these different you know TV shows that we grew up watching because I remember being in middle school well not middle school but elementary school like in fourth and fifth grade when one on one came first came out mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. how we couldn't wait, you know what I'm saying, to get back, get right. home and like watch Kyla Pratt. You know what I'm saying? Like so you know oh, she, yeah, she was the one. <laughs> yeah she was the one. <laughs> you feel me? So no nah, it's it's uh if you want to definitely get your uh uh your 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 sitcom fixed to all the people that don't know Go ahead, look at Netflix, man. You can look at everything. 
Right. Get nah, the Netflix premium. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, that's that's Netflix, big, get the, the Netflix big, premium, man. You know, they going up on my rates. I said, come on, man. I ain't gonna charge you. I don't even think they asked me, bro. I just next thing, <laughs> I was getting, charging eight and then 12 and then next thing I'm on the $16 one or whatever. Because they know you got that, got the good TVs, man. They know. Oh, they know. Cool. Bro. <laughs> I, did, I did the big one just so everybody can watch at the same time. I know my brother in college, but they was like, yeah, we're going to $4 more next month. Like, what? Yeah, that man, 4K man. and stuff, they got certain yeah. ones in 4K. We're yeah. yeah. gonna go back down to 1080p, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, nigga, just, if you just look away for a second, you don't even notice the difference. Bro. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, that, see it. Pretty lights off, the same, it's the same. It's Netflix pretty light off. It's uh, been uh, pretty nice for you, boy. How fucking we, we getting bo- we getting bougie. Oh, but it's so God. many, it's so many, it's so many different ones. That's why like, I don't mind doing an HBO Max, uh, like you said, um, trial. But the thing is, I did Stars. I'm the type that forget that I got a uh, a damn free <laughs> trial, it. and I'd be like, that shit. Wait, the day it's something before. I'm forgetting. And then the next day, I'd be then got hit. I'm like, oh, shit, I ain't want to get. <laughs> yeah, I cancel that shit. Day before, man. I don't even know what's on HBO Max. I hadn't watched anything HBO related since uh, uh, Game oh, of Thrones. Man. I heard it's, a, it's a quite a uh, like a quite like they have a pretty good shows on mm-hmm. and coming out. But so, me and Carrie um, kind of we we in, in the in the midst of us watching uh, Fresh Prince a reunion, we watched uh, uh, Lovecraft Country. So I've been hearing um, about that. I need to finish that. We did. Well, we we binge watched the whole. I, mean, I had watched it before. I watched it as the show was like going on mm-hmm. during the season, but she had never watched it. So I wound up getting HBCO, HBO Max. I keep saying HBCO, but HBO Max, so she I could actually. HBCU. Binge. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and um, it was it was really really good, man. That that mm-hmm. show really uh, it's it's if you if you're a fan of sci-fi and Black history and mm-hmm. just Mm-hmm. You know, just a a a fan of literature as, as is, um, you'll definitely love uh, Lovecraft Country because they they tap into all three of those in in depth, um, and just they they talk about so many so many racial issues. It's it's so dope how they incorporate it. Um, I'm not gonna give it away if for people who haven't seen it, but mm-hmm. uh, it's so crazy how they uh, how they in, intertwine um, black certain black people that you know that sparked uh a lot of civil rights uh things mm-hmm. incorporate them actually in the show as characters and we don't really un- know that they're them mm-hmm. until oh, you know, it gets revealed gotcha. and you know oh, okay. and, and certain moments you know key moments in time in black history they incorporate that into episodes where it's just like yo like you know if you if you like magic and and sci-fi <laughs> and all of that Mm-hmm. Definitely watch uh, Lovecraft Country. It's super dope. Oh, that sounds dope, man. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'll be hitting up HBO Max. Damn it. I'm in uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> the... Seven day I'm saying. Seven day free trial. Remind yourself. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm a fail, bro. They remind us. I'm telling you now. Damn it, man. And they Damn. don't remind you either. They wait till you... <laughs> they wait oh, till no. day seven. Gotcha. Oh, um, <laughs> thank you for the <laughs> payment. Damn, Damn man. Mother. I, mean, I thought uh, I had $20. Download it probably after I get off here, man. Nah, facts. I'm in my uh, I'm in my Kings and Queens bag right now. Uh, mm-hmm. with the oh, Knights, shit. you know, medieval yeah. times. So I've been watching a lot of shows uh that kind of in that that's in that realm uh mm-hmm. right now. And uh it got me one that that's, that's the only reason why I really want to hurry up and see if I can uh get that new Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Looking pretty fire, man. Um, oh, speaking of that, Ross, I saw your video today, man. Super hilarious. I would love for you to touch on this because <laughs> it, it just, it just, we have to, man. This, this okay. is a topic that we got to get in. This right. is a different bag. Yeah, okay. Uh, so right. there was a young lady on, uh, in the part of a Joe Buttons uh, TV network yeah. where they, they got their own little set of <laughs> podcasts. It's three women now. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they were pretty much giving their opinion about how they feel about dudes pretty much trying to get this PlayStation 5 and how they mm-hmm. feel about men that's still playing games over mm-hmm. the age of 30 and stuff. And mm-hmm. a couple of them on there really, was really, really like cutting yeah. deep when it, yeah. when it came. Yeah. But you know, the 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 number one uh, comment that stood out to me is when she, the, the lady was like, um, she feels like the top 10 dudes she's had the good sex week didn't play video games. 
<sighs> so, so take it away, Ross. <laughs> so in my video, um, I'm reacting to it or whatever. And when that part come up, I I, mm. I stopped everything because I thought that was the most asinine thing I've ever heard in my 29 years of living, correlating sex, good sex, to people having video games. And I broke down the point <laughs> that all my friends, all, like all my close friends, they're either married, in long-term committed relationships, engaged, and they all have games. All of you niggas have a game system. So yeah, if that is definitely. really, okay. we're going just off that main, that mindset of get, having a game means trash sex, then I don't know how y'all been doing it for all these years, bro. I'm gonna just keep it a stack and a half. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Granted, the relationship, good relationships is not based on sex, but at the same time, bro, <laughs> like, come on now. Boys got kids, families, you know what I'm saying? And I, I just find that such an asinine thing to really correlate with each other because one doesn't have nothing to do with the other, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, my main point in that video was there's nothing wrong with a guy playing a video game or owning a console. Consoles mm -hmm. only really come out every five to six years. So that is one purchase that you will have multiple times to have entertainment with. And if you keep it in good condition, you'll probably keep it for the rest of your life. Most people still exactly. have their older consoles and, and older games. So I don't think it's really just one of those things. Of, oh, you're just throwing your money away for something that you're not going to use again. No, nine times out of 10, you'll probably be playing the game. And I, I feel like when, pe when certain women want to start pushing the narrative like oh you too old to be playing the game all right if we're gonna go off that mindset then you too old to be sitting up here spending 200 300 dollars on some hair that you only uh -oh. gonna wear once uh -oh. you know what i'm saying he hidden, he hidden. Hidden. You oh, you're hidden. only gonna wear it uh -oh. once for like two weeks and then you're gonna have to get it redone if we're gonna go off that logic you know what i'm saying like why you can't wear your real hair and there's nothing wrong uh -oh, with you wearing uh -oh. your real hair. Hey, real you, hair? You, you entitled to wear whatever you oh, want, the but at the same time, coming for but the same time, it's like oh, yeah, why we right can't why we they can't right have here, our own <laughs> game. I don't give a damn what they talking about. It's hey. a, us brothers got to stand together, man. God damn it. Episode forty, baby. We going somewhere <laughs> now. This is stand this together, podcast. Oh, this is the game. This is the podcast, the podcast where we go. <laughs> so it's it's one of speak your mind, King. It just that. That made no sense from that uh, particular young woman. And then the one in the middle, she, ah, bruh, oh, man, she, oh, she, she was She dope. just felt like everything about, it, she was just shitting on it, bro. Anything <laughs> game related. And yeah. it was funny because she tried to backpedal and talk about, you know what I'm saying, she knew about the Sega Genesis and all this stuff. We don't care about you having these older games. Now you feel like a man shouldn't have it. It's like my main, my motto when it comes to, Anything, any vices that you have, anything that you like to do as a hobby that, you know, is just recreational. There is a such thing as too much of it. If it's not paying the bills, if it's not bringing any income into your house and you solely focus on that and you start losing yourself within the world and what's on going on around you, then it can be problematic. But just because a guy want to come home, hop on, get on, hop on the game in this COVID filled world, chill at the crib. He ain't cheating. He's mm -mm -mm. at home chilling on the that. game, bro. What's the problem? If he wants it's to take never enough. hours uh, out of the day to chill, cool. Now, if he's just ignoring you all day, every day, then I can see that's that the problem. problem yeah. in the relationship. But you can have that communication. I just don't feel like, oh, if you're a grown man, you shouldn't have a game. All right, bro. You have fun with that. Have fun with your <laughs> with your guy that loves tools all the time. That's fine. You want someone that loves to build shit all the yeah, time? Cool. Tools. But guess what? That same, <laughs> I'm going to be over here building shit in the game and enjoying my life and having a good time regardless. So that was my take on it, man. And a lot of people were having kind of the same similar opinions. Even some uh, women were chiming in in the comments. Like, yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. Like, I like playing games. I don't have a problem with my boyfriend. And it's funny, bro, because the, the same video you was talking about, I, I was scrolling on uh, the other day. I was looking and I was like, damn, because, you know, we have this vid IQ where we can see mm -hmm. the, the rating of every video on YouTube. It's pretty mm -hmm. dope. So we can see the the dislike, the, the like to dislike ratio. Mm -hmm. so I'm looking at the percentage and it was 12 mm percent. -hmm. I was just like. Damn, it's on blood red and it yeah. had over 10,000 wow. dislikes. Yeah. And only a thousand likes. And it had a hundred K views. And yeah. Like, oh, these this this is a this is a horrible 
You got yeah, a horrible take. Here. And, and, and the crazy it thing, out. there was one person on there. There was one chick on there. She actually, she was the complete opposite. She didn't have a problem with a dude having a, a game system. And she was like, shit, I'll be playing GTA with him. Like, I, I'm, I'm with the shit. So I'm like, right. Queen, that's what we're talking about, Queen. It's, it, that's, that's what we're talking about. We don't, we, it, it's funny. She's queen. It's funny, <laughs> like some people want, you know, women want these Birkin bags and stuff. That's twenty four hundred that you may wear a couple times and then put in your closet to never see the light of day. Twenty four hundred. That must be the cheap one. <laughs> Probably that's so. That's the Probably so. That's the Walmart brand Birkin. You know what I'm saying? So joking. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is one Lurkin. of my consoles will sit up there and Birkin. giving me. Plenty of t- opportunities to, you know what I'm saying, just enjoy myself when I'm just chilling at the grill, bro. So, man, them, them, them bras be having a Donnie McClurkin instead of a Birkin right now. <laughs> <laughs> we fall down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. That, that's crazy, bro. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I feel like with the whole how women feel about us playing mm-hmm. games, sometimes now we can't take it overboard. But like Ross say, you got to have a balance. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, just stating that you don't like or you don't think your man or you too old, because I think all of us here is like 29 and 30, and mm-hmm. then Warren, you still 12. 20, 28. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, 28. <laughs> like, man, age don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah. And it goes nice. beyond hair. Mm hmm. So, mm-hmm. and like you said, I, rather, I would rather be at home safe and yeah. play my game for two hours. Yeah. I would rather cuss out little Jimmy on Call yeah. of Duty. There we go. <laughs> my girl and my family. There we, there we go, bro. That, I don't see. And then we can watch Netflix. And then after you fall asleep, I can get back on the game. There we go. Everybody. Sounds like a good night to me. I'm still yeah. at home. You ain't worrying about where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? That that was my whole point. And like I said, I think I think she, they were just missing it. That whole, oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had the best sex from people. From that didn't play video games, they probably was playing video games. They just didn't tell you because they, they were telling you they were smashing you, and then they would go went got you know what I you know what I say to that yeah you know what I say to that so the fuck what yeah what that got to do with me yeah. like, thank you <laughs> like uh, all that's right. all I gotta say like what 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 that nigga what that nigga dick got to do with me and you fucking <laughs> like. Like, it's, funny she said, it's funny because she said top 10. 10. I was like, damn, my nigga. So, damn, nigga, you ain't want at least. So what happened to the other the... 15 or whatever rest? 50. Was, that that don't was, sound good. Eh? Them niggas was trash. Hey, you remember when J. J. Cole said, whenever a woman tell you her oh. sex number, you got to multiply it by three. So, <laughs> three. She said top 10. So that wasn't even her, her number. You know what I mean? So we got her max I number even, and then I don't even think top ten. I mean uh times three is a top dollar. She got a top ten. Mm. Yeah, she got top ten niggas. She got a whole NFL war board. <laughs> she, she, and she, she, missing, knows. she missing one player on the field to have a starting line. And she knows if they played video. Who asked that? Do you play video games or not? <laughs> right. But like it doesn't matter, bro. You didn't see the PlayStation, so you assume he don't. Yeah, but that whole that whole that whole tuck behind the TV, you just never. (laughs) Oh yeah, it's mounted. It's mounted. It's it's mounted right in position. But that's the crazy thing. My my mentality is why why the the reason why I felt like the video is probably disliked the most because her opinion was so strong. Like, oh yeah, my 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 thing is with anything. If I don't like something, I'm real easy on just. Hey, uh-huh. It's not for me. Right, I don't cool. like women that do such and such. I don't want a woman that does such and such. I'm not finna come out here and be like, I hate women who want Birkins. Like, I'm not <laughs> finna get crazy. Like, why get crazy about it, bro? Just be, hey, I don't want my woman being like, uh, uh, I want a $12,000 bag or item. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I personally feel like, you know, it, and it's, it's not just about the bag. It's just excessive for no reason, especially yeah. when you have the money to, to, to really blow like that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Uh, we could be giving that money to somebody else or, you know, a materialistic chick that only think about... Give the- it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, right? 
Exactly. <laughs> but no, nah, I, I wouldn't even then, like, I don't agree with that. But I ain't finna get on here and be like, bro, F a Birkin and all you women that love Birkin. It's just like, bro, I, that's, that's just, not going to give me no that's, attention. That's, I'm, just, no, I'm just about to move on. But she was so opinionated about dudes who play games. It was just like, damn, if you don't who like hurt a game dude. Exactly. A gamer. She got cheated did. on him by a nigga that right. played games. <laughs> you gonna pull up? Nah, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on 2K right, right now. <laughs> but you we always to, on 2K. We about to right? so, so, Always so, on my nerves. So, Click. So, so, <laughs> so it's just. So it seemed like you know it's just a film. So I got <laughs> a question for us guys. What's yeah. okay. We feel like that. Let's say if our girls mm-hmm. really don't like mm-hmm. us playing a game, is it too fucking bad? <laughs> he gave no, his answer. But no, what I'm, what I'm saying is like, he do you like, do they? Do you think they would gave us an opportunity, or at least be interested in why we play the game? What do you mean? What do you mean? So like, instead of just let's say they do ask, why are you on the game all the time? <laughs> Everybody was like, mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> Like why you about you to the my stats up? <laughs> <laughs> my KD is where it needs to be, my nigga. <laughs> exactly. Are you talking about you talking about letting them play to, to see why you like it so much? To see why you like it so much. Uh, but that's the thing. Right. They gotta I'm they gotta to that. this is the thing. You, you they have to be open to that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like a, right. a lot of people right. are shut from experience like new mm-hmm. things because they have this like mentality like, oh, I don't like that. I don't give a damn what you do to try to influence me to mm-hmm. join you on that. I just think it's childish. Some people have this stubborn mm-hmm. mentality where they don't want to get out of their own comfort zone and you pretty much have to you know, it's going to keep Change coming. your life. Yeah, like For them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they, they don't want to get out of their stubbornness, but I mean, that's, that's where you, and this is what I always tell the homies, watch them key things and traits in women before you get further into liking them and stuff because the little small things that you feel like uh it's like okay or you overlooking because the ass is looking thick tonight mm-hmm. it's like bro be mindful one day you're gonna be sitting there in that room seven years later and the ass ain't gonna give you ain't gonna give a damn no more because you're gonna be done tapped it ten thousand times so mm-hmm. that little thing that you thought you overlooked didn't mm-hmm. irritate you is the reason yeah. now you ready to divorce and because mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's the things that we ignore. So you gotta ignore traits of people that act like they don't wanna they can't experience and kind of get out the box. Cause mm-hmm. that shows you like, man, if I try to show her or introduce her to something new, she might not take it mm-hmm. so well or she might mm-hmm. not even want to do it at all. And that'll tell you like, man, I like playing games. Hey, you be down to, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, and she probably like, look, I, don't, I ain't tripping. You know, now you know you mm-hmm. got somebody who's probably open to different things in life. So now you might have those women mm-hmm. that be like, you know, I'm I'm not into games. I've mm-hmm. never kind of been into games, but I don't have an issue with, you know, if that's your vice, that's your vice. Right. That's exactly. cool. Also, that's cool. You know? All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to chill, play for a little bit, and then afterwards, yo, we can do what we do and, and go from there. I always made a point in the video as well. Some, you know, sometimes you got to, you know, some, there's no wrong with compromising because there are t- points, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we've all been through it, where we in the middle of the game and, you know, our significant other wanted us to come chill with them right then in that moment, you know what I'm saying? So mm. it's always trying to find that balance. I ain't I ain't one of those type of people. No, God damn it. You know, I'm on a, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a fucking 70 kill street. Shut the hell up, woman. No, it's just like, yeah. all right, cool. Let me finish this game real quick. Yeah, let me finish this game. All right, we, we can watch whatever we have to watch it or chill in, or we got some plans and then go from there. Like I said, it's all about moderation. That's what anything mm-hmm. we do. It's all about moderation. Like, there are people that get paid to play games all day, so that works for them. But if you got a nine to five and you choose to skip out on your nine to five just to play a damn video game, and you're missing out on your money and you not take care of your business. Priorities. Priorities. Yeah. Yeah. Priorities. Now you tripping. Now, now you you kind of deserve to get clowned. I mean, you're like, hey, little Jimmy ain't going to give a damn because little Jimmy, he living at his parents' house. He ain't got to pay bills. Nigga. Yeah, he ain't got to pay bills. And you got to pay them bills so your internet can stay on so you can play the game. <laughs> like, right. That's going to be him when he going to try to wake up one morning. He ain't going to have life to turn the game on. Yeah. So that's, like I said, it's all about moderation. But That's tragic. Yeah, that 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 their hot takes were a little bit uh too spicy, bro. It was like, all right, bro. Come on, no, it's, 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 it's that's factual. That's, that's, that's a that's a key thing, man. And um, 
It's it's just the the again, man. She was very stern. Like she oh no, nah, she was. Mm-mm. I was like, damn. Them comments just... were ruthless, though. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even get through the comments. Well, like, was, the first couple them of them had like, me done. Bro. No, man, my my relationship with my game concert will last longer than any relationship she has. I That's like, oh, childish. Damn, well, niggas so true. Once, once niggas once niggas start getting in their bag, it's over. Oh yeah. Once, once once you got a once you got a team of people coming for you. Ah oh, yeah, that over, was man. that was raps, bro. They they had, for you. Yeah, it's a it's Joe. It a, you are sideways. Yeah, he's sitting <laughs> sideways. He's still sitting sideways. Sitting yeah. sideways. Uh, Excuse me. There you go. There but you speaking go. of 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 you know, what I'm saying people having their opinions on certain situations. I know uh, we was discussing the uh, situation about uh, what's that restaurant is uh, True Kitchen. True, True Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah, uh, I didn't see the video. I saw like clips Ross of about it. To get canceled. <laughs> I didn't is, see the is, video. This is where the podcast get canceled. Um, but I did. Oh uh, man. Doug kind of filled me in on actually what was going on, and um, it's it's really funny how people. Uh, I just think quick. it's funny. Though. Yeah, I think it's funny <laughs> how people are quick to hop on the hate bandwagon and the cancel bandwagon, especially of someone of color about their own establishment and what they want their establishment to be. And I, I made this point to uh, to Warren about this earlier. You don't see people sitting up there standing up, twerking on tables or twerking on chairs at Ruth Chris or these fine white establishments. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing there's nothing wrong with turning up. I'm all down to see some some cheek shaking, but at the right place at the right time. You're not gonna see somebody doing it at church, or you shouldn't. You're not gonna see somebody doing it at school, or you shouldn't. But these are just one of those things where it's like Timing is everything. So the fact that that clip was kind of, they didn't show that part of the clip, which how it usually is on the internet. There's always a context to what's actually being shown before right. people be ready to have their pitchforks and ready to cancel somebody. It's like, it's, it's, sure. it's so, it's weird to me how we'll just jump on a black person so quick and be ready to cancel them because they want to have an establishment or they have something that they believe that, you know, they, that's how they want things to work or that's, that's what they're going for. And it's like, yo, what, what happened to us within just our own, the male and female black woman, black man, what happened to us coming together? We, we always try to find a way to put, put one against the other. And that's the problem right there. Like i I didn't even, I don't even have Twitter no more because it's so toxic to me at this point. But he was just telling me how many just black women just was ready to be like, oh man, how can he tell us when to twerk and how to twerk and where to twerk? I hope you don't, don't, don't get no, no business. Man. I was like, bro, what? Why is his establishment? That's, that's, that's like, his that special. doesn't make sense his, to me. You're not doing that at Steak 48. Guess what? You dressing to your finest tee, trying to look good, to take a picture in front of the Steak 48 sign, my nigga, to post on Instagram. <clears throat> like, I, I don't get it. You're not in there twerking. You chilling. But no, you know what the excuse was for that? What? Well, they not playing that type of music at Steak 48. That don't mean a that, that That's a caveat. That is a caveat. And for some niggas, they don't even know what that means. Point is... the said the chariot. What? <laughs> <laughs> Horses. Yeah, yeah I, I seen that riding downtown. All right, so if we're gonna go here. with that logic, all right, or whatnot, <laughs> there's certain places that be playing music that we listen to, but I don't be seeing boys just standing up on the furniture itself to twerk. Why do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to do that. It's not the club. There's a time and a place for everything. You can make the excuse. Oh, once you hear that nine nine two thousand, something change. You're right. Sometimes some do change, but the setting is still the same. So if that person doesn't want that in their establishment, then it's like, yo, bro, you kind of you you kind of got to respect it. It it has nothing to go against your your core values, bro. Niggas be wanting to be mad about shit. No, bro, just sit your ass down. Go to the club later on, or take your ass home where mm-hmm. you should be. <laughs> but hey, that's right. you know there, bro. So that's I've seen that song come on, bro. I've seen that song come on. And a chick be like, damn, this is my song. I really want to twerk right now, but shit. She, she like, has she be, like, mm-hmm. like strange, you know what I'm saying? Yes, because bro. It's just oh, like, like yeah, if it accidentally come on at church, 
you know what I'm saying? Someone accidentally hook up something oh, wrong. Hope, like, oh, no. Not. Oh, no. Yeah, and they trying to shut it down. They can't figure it out. because they Brother hope. Rufus, what you doing listening to? Yeah, Brother Rufus is having a hard time trying to shut it down. I hope I don't see Sister Mary over there in the pews throwing this shit back. You know what I'm saying? But she got to restrain us. I'm like, all right. Don't throw I'm it in, back, Sister I'm Mary. In the, I'm in the Lord's house. Let me chill. Sister Johnson going to talk about you later yes. on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> so it's like... Like I said, man, uh, people, especially when it comes to black people, I see it all the time. When it comes to black people, especially black men, if we don't conform to a certain thing that certain people believe how we should act and treat other black women, it's like, oh, see, this is what's wrong with black men now. You want a PS5 but can't even treat us like women. I'm like, what? All right, bro. All right, dog. All right, bro. The, the, uh, I, I, I wholeheartedly the way I- agree, bro. <sighs> No, go ahead. I just just wanted to say I, I just. Oh yeah, agree. I, I agree a hundred. But the thing is, he didn't see. We want to put on social media what we want them to see. Facts. He politely asked them mm-hmm. on multiple occasions. Mm-hmm. Put your cheeks back in the seats. <laughs> put your cheeks back in the and seats. Then, and let's just be real. We know mm-hmm. where we're going before we even get inside. Facts. 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 We doing our research so that they mm-hmm. do better. But I'm not. But I'm not saying that you know they were in the wrong 100. percent I do, and you know my opinion is I do feel like if I am going to have an upscale black-owned restaurant, there are multiple categories of black music I could play. Mm-hmm. That, that's just how I feel. Okay. So I do. I feel got a that, for that, but keep going, bro. But no, mm-hmm. I understand. But like I said, that's that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. But am I mad or do I feel like he he shouldn't have played that song? No, that's just me. If I was to have that restaurant, that'd be me. Mm-hmm. But um, it goes back respect the establishment. Mm-hmm. It's just like if okay, just prime example. That's like us trying to get mad at, to go to a club knowing we can't wear tennis shoes and we walk up with Jays. There you go. They gonna black hey, no shoes in here. That's the establishment. We can't be like, come on, bro. What you mean? I, I just bought I these. I can't go on Yelp or go uh, or go on a Houston Black owned group on Facebook. You know, such and such. This no, that's just establishment. That's Those their rules. The, mm-hmm. That's their business. Mm-hmm. Don't go to Club Heat. Niggas <laughs> gonna let you wear your Elevens that just came out. The memories, <laughs> man. What? But now, nah, Joe, what was you about to say? You said you had a rebuttal. Yeah, I had a rebuttal for. <laughs> the music thing and Mm -hmm. the reason why i have a rebuttal is because i feel like that's another reason for black people not holding themselves accountable so at the end of the day it does not matter what the fuck he played Mm -hmm. doesn't matter what music what music was on there you have to know Mm -hmm. that this is not the time for me to to have have my twerk win hitting the lamb chops my nigga you know what i'm saying (laughs) It's just, it's just not, it's not the time. At the end of the day, bro, what this man wanted to do mm-hmm. was he wanted to create an environment where you can get fine dining cuisine, mm-hmm. also mixed with the elements that mm-hmm. we, as the culture, love to enjoy. And you, that sounds you, fucking dope. A upscale restaurant for our generation. Right. So, so, so I people. With that. Yeah. Most, a lot of people were saying. 100%. Like, Cause I'll go, I'll go into into detail on what a lot of people were saying. So a lot of people were saying, well, that's not upscale to me. Like that's not fine dining. It's like, okay, look, it's whatever he wants to call it. If he mm-hmm. wants to call it fine dining, well, he then call that's fine what dining. the yeah. fuck it is. At the end of the day, he giving out burger sandwiches and chicken baskets. Right, because it's it's like he's trying to create an environment. It's 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 all about the environment that you're mm-hmm. trying to create. Right. He just wants you to come in. Have you a nice mix? So it's like, yo, you don't, when you go to Ruth Chris, you go to Brennan's or you go mm-hmm. to Steak 48 or you go to Vic and Anthony's or whatever the case may be. You have to have a sports coat on. Mm-hmm. You got to have, you know, a, a, a tie or you got to have on, you know, a nice, you know, evening gown, a dress, whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. You can't come in there just looking like any this. Kind of way. <laughs> right. It was good, y'all. Right. Shit, I'm about so, to eat some fine and, dining. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's like, yo, I'm giving you the opportunity where you still have to dress a certain way in this establishment, but mm-hmm. it's a little bit more comfortable. 
It's a yeah. little bit more at ease for us and for the culture. And you get a chance to listen to music that, that you we like can it? rock with and just have a good meal. So that, that means sounds like a good time. Enjoy the music, but don't let it don't let it get to the point to where you you not you I have to get up, mm -hmm. disrupt everybody else's dining experience, and twerk. That's yeah. just what it is. So for me, the reason why I, that that I had that rebuttal is because I feel like when people say, "Well," I wouldn't have played that song. It's like, yeah, I can understand that perspective, but at the same time, it's like, yo, I don't care if this motherfucker decided to play God knows what. So at what it be in day, a little boosty. Mm -hmm. But if he decided to play, you know what I'm saying? If he decided to play Wipe Me Down, like, like I gave an example of, you know, me being a Kappa. Like if 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 dude and actually dude is a is a new, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. from Prairie View. Shout out to Zeta Beta, but hey, um the owner, but um if he had a play, you know, flashlight, that's not my time to get up and throw mm -hmm. rolls around the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, bro. Like, where did a, where a cane come from? You're right. This like, nigga, you know, <laughs> this nigga, new group, motherfucker. I'm like, wait, yeah. wait, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, like, we in the middle business, of dessert, nigga. Like, I'm crazy, you know? Yeah. So, you just gonna, you just gonna like, come up your side and keep on stepping. It's, it's, like, a, uh, it's a restraint thing, bro. Nigga. You yeah. gotta. You gotta have that. Now, on the flip side, it was other people that was like, "Well, I'm not necessarily pissed off at what he said. I'm more so pissed off at how he oh. said it and the mm -hmm. fact that he addressed the that entire side of the restaurant with what he had going on." Well, oh, who who was dancing, no, or no, no. or does he he addressed because, the side uh, that was dancing? He addressed the people that was dancing, but he also addressed the like if we were just sitting there just having a meal, like. You that's what the video was showing. Like it was mm -hmm. other people that weren't twerking that were there eating. So people, some people was like, "Well, I have an issue. I would have an issue if I, I was just sitting issue. there." And, you gotta, and, and, you gotta and know the whole sitting, story. And he, and he was cussing. So no, no they that, well, they were there, so they know the whole story. But it was like oh, some, okay. people, some people was just like, "I would have had an issue if I was just sitting there as a as a, as a bystander standard and not twerking." So my my rebuttal to that is. If it don't apply, let it fly. If yeah, you man. know you don't rock with what what them girls was doing or whatever, what them women was doing at the end of the day, you know he's not talking to you when he's saying, get mm. the fuck out and I don't need your money. Because at the end of the day, Niggas he just needs have money. You, know, on it. you just, you just <laughs> want to like be in your feet. You want to make yeah. it a black woman versus black yeah. man thing. Thank you. And, bro. and, it's, and it's, it's not that. Nah, what it is, it is. It's a... I have class and you don't thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't have I have I got home fucking don't. training. Training. <laughs> I have home fucking training and you don't. Like that's all this shit is at the end of the day. It's I don't know why people are talking about this shit past the Monday, but it's been an ongoing thing where people and uh, people have been just like, Well, I don't like how his tone it's like yo, at the uh, end here we of go day, with this tone word. But he <sighs> Like I said, he on multiple occasions went over there nicely. Hey, do y'all mind? Go ahead and put them cheeks back in your seats. <laughs> I hope you said it like that. Your That's perfect, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Put, put, them, the put, them, put the McDoubles you know? back down on the menu, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to run an establishment he, here. He went to them professionally. That's, yeah. that's, 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 let's use the real word. He professionally went to them and said, please put those cheeks. Back in those seats. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's just like with the, just <laughs> Warren, you got kids. Come on now. Oh uh, yeah. So so right, so right. so you was that. Warren, you you there. You got mm -hmm. you got mama. You got, mm -hmm. you got, you got Oh you got, Lord Jesus, he said mama. You got you got you got Nisha, <laughs> you got the kids, y'all oh, all Lord. sitting down there, right? So you got mm -hmm. the chick over here to the side that you know, she got she twerking in her. Oh, she had a couple mimosas, a couple got, mimosas in the system. Everybody egging her on, which they were. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And you got, you know, old girl over here that's just stood up on the seat, and she got her hands on the glass, and she going, <laughs> and she going at it, right? So, but damn, bro, your, mind, your cheeks bumping my hand, bro. <laughs> out of so, damn, bro. So it's like you, in that moment, you got to be like, all right. Yeah, this my, is my, 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 like, yeah, you have the 
you can do what you want to do. But why would you do that when you know it's families and family. it's people that it's people that got, you know, their grandma or their mamas in this in this own like, oh, like you, you like that's that's a that's that's exactly my mom. Mm. That's a moment for me to shake my head. Like y'all want to see my ass, don't you? Like no. With you know families, what you know, you know what's going on at my table. Hey, Dad, what's that shadow we place over there? That's ratchet, son. You must never. Why <laughs> can't <laughs> 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 There you go. You must, you must, you, know? you must never act like that. You must what? never do this. I'm trying to eat my Drop lamb your and y'all over there trying to get two free two dollars drinks before and, it, and it's crazy, man, because everybody had such a well like it, it, these opinions, bro. It's, we make it bigger than what it had to be. Like from not even knowing what was going on the first time I seen the clip, uh, from just seeing opinions of other women and stuff, they was really raving on like it was some real shit that happened. Like I thought he was really on some yeah. get out bees, you know. I thought he was just like on some real disrespectful shit. And then when I seen it, I was like, well, the first thing I thought was like, well, shit, if a nigga trying to kick me out because I'm doing something that he feel like I don't want, like I that I want to do that he don't want me to do in his restaurant, I'm a dip. Like I don't right. I don't have to Deuces. spend my money there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have to beg you to spend my money in your establishment when I can Please, leave. sir, let me spend my money here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, so, but then when I kind of dived, I, I, I dived into what was going on, and I was just like, bro, that's, mm-hmm. that's ridiculous to me that we're making this a uh, black man versus black woman, and then I, I go to see some of them them um, coon niggas uh, or <laughs> female, female f- uh, I need to create a name for them. You know them niggas, them black dudes that overly try to push the, the black man doing the black woman narrative oh, wrong yeah. mm-hmm. and it it, it irks it, it got to a point when she's I was watching the video she's not gonna fuck you bro <laughs> yeah bro like none of them are like <laughs> it got to the point you, it got to the point where I'm watching him talk about it and it, it made me mad and I was like whoa you're like, a I need, you're <laughs> a sucker, bro. cause niggas really out here like bro see that's the thing we tell black women what to do and tell them that they're not respecting themselves and using that for a way to mean that they not to kind of keep them in line. See, we just want the black woman to stay in line. And that's the, and I'm just like, listen to this nigga here, bro. Like if I had a, <laughs> fucking, if I had a fucking, uh, a brick, <laughs> God, damn, uh, so I could throw to through the computer, man. It, it's just, cause it doesn't make sense to me, man, that people really, they, they're, Continuing that narrative that black men don't love black women, you know, it's like no matter oh, what it is, stupid. That's a dumbass dumb. narrative, and I I dare any black woman watching this that agrees with that video feel like we misogynistic and all this other bullshit that y'all have a dictionary <laughs> of in your black woman book. I want you to realize your I black was raised, woman book. <laughs> I was raised by a strong black woman. I'm Facts, married to a strong it. black woman. Facts, I have two it. black women that are my sisters that are strong. Facts, and I also have it. a black daughter that I'm raising. So I'd be damned if I'm the type of nigga that's going to say what a woman should and it can't be. Reach. I just, it's I just awesome. think logically and I think with a mindset of an adult and a mature uh, adult. Like, nigga, I know when and when not to do things. It's there we go. Not Simple that as that. Nigga, it's not that this nigga didn't, don't like twerking. And then I heard Joe telling me the other day that they tried to spin the narrative like, so you don't like twerking. It's like, nigga, what? I, I don't yeah, know, I don't uh, mind we, we, we gonna we gonna, we gonna go ahead and call it out. Oh, uh, I don't know, old buddy from TMZ, the white dude. Is it Harvey? Uh, it might that might be his the name. the main dude, uh, right? Yeah, it yeah. is the main dude. It's yeah. Harvey. Yeah, yeah, Harvey. Yeah. So basically, um, this nigga here pretty much was like, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, uh, it, 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 uh, are you are you against? The twerking, you know, is is that what it is? Are you against twerking? I'm like, yo, it's not that he's against twerking at all. It's the fact of the matter is, is like, it's my establishment. You know, <laughs> it's my establishment, and this is what I decide to allow in my establishment, bro. It's Look, like, I would have been like, you remember, like, just like how your people used to tell me, like, you can't eat here because of the color of my skin. <laughs> so. Oh. Yeah, it's like how your people used to say that about y'all establishment, right? Black people couldn't eat here and, and get this nice pie in in Betty's pies. So mm-hmm. now that I don't want twerking to go on in my establishment, now that's a problem. When yep. my whole skin color stopped me from eating in a restaurant just a few years ago, mm-hmm. they, they don't. Yeah, I go through the back door, nigga. Mm-hmm. Get the scraps. Yep, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Like that was the wild shit. That was the wild shit. The wild shit for me was all of the stuff I heard, all of the excuses that I heard 
um, about the situation instead of calling it out for what it is. And we have to be we have to be honest about mm-hmm. what it is we're talking about here. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the black woman is the most disrespected, and the black woman and, and misogyny does is is real. It does exist, of course, uh, uh, amongst society. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. And it, and, it, and, it, and black women are hit harder with that than any other race of women, right? Thanks. But at the same time, this situation ain't it. We just trying to hold these ratchet classes motherfuckers accountable for what they're doing. Facts. That's it. There we go. And, 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 that's, yeah, and that's that's key. And just just as just not to cut you off, Devin, but just as that's much good. as black women are a target in that in that area, black men are a huge target as well mm-hmm. in, in our own space. You know what I'm saying? We're getting murdered. They're they're demasculating us. Uh, they're they're taking our voice away. Um, they, it's a lot too that we have on our back as well. So that's why I feel like we need to stop like aiming the gun at each other and kind of learn how to work together through these trials that we've been experiencing since God knows how long. You know what I'm saying? Like we know the black woman is disrespected. That's why, and a lot of black dudes are mama's boys. Hell, like a lot of these niggas be mm-hmm. like respect women. You know what I'm saying? They just sometimes some women show them that they don't need respect. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of niggas grow up with like, oh shit. How can you I say can women get... don't need respect? No, I'm saying what I'm saying is, and thank you for asking, young lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I'm saying is, just like now, like. Uh, all the OnlyFans shit. Like it's like now I don't even have to work hard to get to the prize. You You're showing me the prize. Small fee of twenty ninety nine a month, and you can get all you want, big boy. But that's <laughs> <laughs> I got the premiums too. The Slick. premiums too, man. Slick Willy. <laughs> no, um, it, it. All I'm saying is, and I'm not saying that's that's everybody, bro. All I'm mm-hmm. saying, you know, we got to get deep into what the root problem is. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people are trained to feel like, oh, well, shit, I can get away with this. Shit, let me see how many other females I can do this with. And then that's where some of these niggas kind of generate this whole mentality. Like, bro, I can play these females. You know what I'm saying? And then he gets and then goes and pass that same shit on to his son. And it keeps going instead of people all around having respect for themselves. Like we talking about now, let's have respect in class for ourselves. Let's, let's Mm -hmm. carry ourselves in a better, in a better light. Let's represent. Well, every time we step out that door, that's the same thing I tell my children and nephew. When you step out that door, represent yourself. Well, let your Mm -hmm. word be, uh, mean something because all you have is your word and how you represent yourself in this life. So, and your actions. So it's mm-hmm. like, I can't keep going on. We, we know who's mistreated and all that. And, and I pray for these situations all, all day. Cause again, I'm surrounded by black women, mm-hmm. but I also try to train them and teach to be independent. Just like I do my sons. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to think for yourself. You have to have common sense because nowadays they're making common sense, dumb and dumb <laughs> common sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'll say that again. Nowadays, they're making common sense a dumb thing, and dumb shit is becoming common sense. Mm-hmm. And so they're they're trying to reverse psychology. What do you mean I can't twerk on here? Nah, you know what it is, bro. <laughs> exactly. What you talking about? I love I love that. The analogy, SpongeBob you know, me. Mm-hmm. I love that analogy, bro. But you know what it is? It's not even that. What it is is common sense ain't so common. So it ain't. motherfuckers motherfuckers just don't have it. Like you said, like, <laughs> like it skipped a generation of niggas. Yeah, just, it's just, huh? I can't twerk it now. What you mean? He like, played banger, up banger the 2000s, so the time, that means I gotta twerk. But then it fucked me up. It's like, oh, oh. black, like, you know, oh, stupid. There are more stupid people than it is smart people out here. Big facts. You know bro. what I'm saying? So, it's dumb 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 like, it's, well, as soon as we wrap our minds around <laughs> that, there's some real dumb dumbs <laughs> out there, bro. It's like, yo, we'll be better off because we'll realize, oh, like, oh, you're dumb. Stupid you a, you okay. a dumb motherfucker. Ain't you? You a, you a dumb. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, oh, you, oh, you, you love you. And then they just start not saying words. <laughs> you just, it's a whole bunch of doodle bobs, bro. Yeah, a whole bunch of doodle bobs in the world, bro. <laughs> and a lot of pinhead Larrys. You know what I'm it, it, it <laughs> is it is a very this world is vast a majority fucking doodle bobs, bro. But, but even along with y'all analogies, it's also mm-hmm. a, a lot of times mm-hmm. that too. 
it's true ignorance. And I mean, true ignorance, the real Ax. type of ignorance. Ax. They don't know. To be honest with you, some people- They don't know, they know because they weren't taught. Yeah, they weren't taught. The only That's thing true. they taught is, don't get a man unless he's going to X, Y, and Z. He's going to take care. It's not how you should carry yourself, how you should treat yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with twerking. I think mm -hmm. all four of us on here like to see some twerking. I approve in just the right know, settings. We know, <laughs> just know that us as men, when to prepare our minds to see twerking. We wouldn't. I'm trying to eat my lamb chops and asparagus. <laughs> this nigga in this lamb chops and asparagus. Not, no, I'm not trying to see them lamb chops and asparagus. I mean, it's gonna be a nice sight, but I'm gonna still be shaking my head like, God damn, bro, we can't take niggas nowhere. We can't God take damn, bro. Right. I'm just looking gonna be that's that's I'm gonna exactly look. what we gonna be saying. I'm like, God damn, hey, niggas, hey, dog. Man. <sighs> she throwing it though. I ain't gonna lie. That mimosa got a lid, but god damn, bro. Come on, bro. You making us look bad. <laughs> she got that wagon too, but you know. Hey, yeah, she got that wagon, but god damn, bro. Come on. The club then, is down the street. <laughs> and then the homie homie try to holler at her or, or throw a slang at her because of how she's, you know, presenting. Damn, herself. girl, you look uh-uh. Uh Why uh -uh. you gotta come at me like that? We, because your cheeks was in my like salad. That. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry that you at your table when I'm 10 feet away and your cheeks was at my table. <laughs> your cheek breeze was <laughs> brushing against my kneecaps, man. Nigga. Like, what you want me to do? <laughs> it's it's uncommon sense now. Like I said, it's true ignorance. Ax, un, bro. Un, uncommon sense. <laughs> like it's, that, it's should, that should be the episode name, Uncommon Sense. Nigga. So the moral, yeah. the moral of the story, what we, what we have to end on is... Get the fuck out of my restaurant. Get the fuck out of my restaurant. Uh... If you're expecting this man to That's the name of the lose episode, a lot of Ross. business. Get the fuck out of my restaurant. I'm with it. <laughs> Get the yeah, fuck out. He, he ain't going to lose a lot of business. You know, uh, so, I actually so, heard he he booked for months. Nigga, I wish, good, he right? Houston, I wish he was no. in Houston because I would have went to that whole this weekend. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, oh yeah, big facts. <laughs> that's ridiculous, bro. Like, just it, man, I can go on about this shit, bro. But it's like, man, they, they, they create these narratives is really just, it, it's annoying. You know, we, mm -hmm. we always want to play the fucking victim for every fucking thing instead of just looking at it like, bro, this shit is us. Like, yeah. every, it ain't nobody else to problem blame too. on it's, every it's situation. Sometimes it's just us. It's ignorance protecting and defending ignorance. Yep. Couldn't have said it better myself. Could not have said it better myself. That is, Thank you. That is it to the T right there. Ignorance protecting and vouching for more ignorance yeah mm -hmm. it's an ignorance party Ooh, everybody gets in everybody bro. <laughs> everybody gets in you get in you get in you look ignorant get your ass in here because instead of us you know i'm gonna say us as as african yeah, us. instead mm -hmm. of us as really getting the big picture and understanding us as ignorance because we don't know mm -hmm. we want to they want to do nothing wrong mm -hmm. they want to mm -hmm. play that song <laughs> you should not play that song and he shouldn't say what he said and blah blah blah. Yeah, actually, he 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 didn't. He said it professionally twice. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't. They gonna, it wasn't. They ain't gonna show. They ain't gonna show all they that. Not. Oh, they mm -hmm. not. You got to go and, YouTube and go down three pages. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad, bro. To find the truth, you gotta you gotta search for the truth. And nobody study. nobody goes to the third page. You, nobody yeah. goes to the second page. But let yeah, alone. The third page, you're, you're just not gonna know what happened, mm -hmm. but exactly that's um, why I only got 2012 views. That, that, <laughs> that's that's hey man, again, I just all you can do is just pray, you know, for people, yep, individuals, that's... continue to be a beacon, uh, for how to live, you mm -hmm. know, just through your own life. And that's really the 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 thing I just decided to do because if you really get up in arms about every situation like this, you will go crazy. Mm -hmm. You will go crazy. So all, all you can really do is just live accordingly as an example to your and life. Hopefully that you're being, uh, hopefully you catch somebody. eye and like, man, you know what? I, I see you happy. You always smiling. You always in a good mood. You always spreading love, man. What's, what's uh, you know, hopefully you get that, you mm -hmm. know, so that way you can let a person know like, Hey man, it's all about, you know, praying, keeping God first, understanding that we we not gonna know everything we shouldn't know everything and spread love and stop trying to argue about every situation bro like we love our black women and i know a lot Facts. of black men even just on this zoom right now that love mm -hmm. them some black women so when God i damn when right I, when i, I see it I mm -hmm. when i see it and it's always like oh man black man don't it's like if everybody stopped categorizing everything as a general whole mm -hmm. then they would be able to see like, oh, okay, it's not all black men. It's yeah. all the ones I'm fucking with that there we go. shit. All the there black men go. I'm fucking with keep leaving me high and dry with these kids. Uh -huh. 
you yeah. know, uh, all the black men I'm fucking with keep on disrespecting. Maybe I should be more selective. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Let me, let me stop dating the same type of nigga that keep putting me in the same type of situation. So no, you like, know, the definition of insane is doing something over and over and over and expecting different results. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Big facts, man. You know what I'm saying? We love our black women, and, you know, we love the PS5. There we go. Life is good. You feel me? <laughs> like, can't we all just get along? Life That's is all I'm good. Saying. <laughs> you got your red bottoms on. Life is good. <laughs> like, like, it's good. You, you, like, you want a trophy or something. Trophy or something. <laughs> <laughs> Think you want a great? Turn the fuck up. Man. Nah, that's lit though, man. It, yeah. And we were always on we were all on one accord with that. <clears throat> yeah, and no facts. Right. It, it's dope because we can we can laugh, have fun, be positive about it, put our real feelings towards it. But again, mm-hmm. again, we we express our love and our gratitude to black women, bro. We love you. Mm-hmm. Um if you are listening to this podcast, understand this is not a shot, this is not hate, mm-hmm. this is just us speaking that sometimes we just gotta get off the our asses in the high horse and just realize like, yeah, nigga, that I that was on that Yeah, shit. that was that wasn't the best move. Could have <laughs> did right. it. There's nothing wrong. wrong. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. wrong. Admitting, <laughs> yeah, that that wasn't probably the best move at the best time. That's 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 all I want from my uh, from the community, our, our own community. Just understanding that, hey, bro, <laughs> it ain't always a, a a male versus female thing, bro. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just what you see is, yo, that was that sh- that could have been done better. That shouldn't have happened. All right, let's move forward from it. I right, cool. There it is. And I know. See, this is wrong with you niggas now, nah, bro. It's not everybody <laughs> on that. Not everybody on that mindset, man. And we definitely need to still, you know, continue to come together, bro. That's that's really all it should be, bro. We should be trying to come together and build each other up because we already know that we are the, you know, we're oppressed as it is, and we already behind everybody else. So we kind of gotta lift each other up so we can, you know what I'm saying, move forward. You know, this should be it should be an issue that the man started up his own black establishment and has to deal with the negative backlash because this is how he want his from establishment his own to go. From his own people, bro. That's that's that hurts. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that he is booked and I hope he continues to keep being booked. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully someone can start something like that down here, bro. I would love to check out like just a, a black owned, like classy style restaurant, bro. That'd be dope. I'd be all for it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Just yeah. if you want to twerk, just wait till afterwards. That's it. Right. That's, Go outside that's in the parking lot. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. one thing I do want to do is dress up real nice, suited and booted. Suited and so, booted, so, man. I not give my money. To my own people. People. There we go, bro. Simple. I'm with it. I'm with it, bro. Even though we still trying to give our money to the Sony PlayStation Five, but that's another story for another context. Oh, <laughs> but still, man. but still, bro. Charles Ross. It's for us, bro. Back, you know, thirty-seven <laughs> minutes ago. We're gonna leave that one back. There. It's for black entertainment, bro. We're gonna entertain ourselves. We're gonna be out the streets. We're gonna be at home. <laughs> Fuck selling the drugs, nigga. We selling the drugs on GTA. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Everybody good. Yo, I need to make some drops myself. I'm gonna mow that. Gotta... This nigga is stupid, bro. You gotta check your warehouse, man. You gotta make yeah, sure yeah, that's, the only, <laughs> that's the only time I could be unholy is on GTA. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Me. That's that, I actually used to use GTA to, to let some aggression out, bro. Man, what? Yeah, bro. Just walk just out your house and just hit somebody, run back in and lose the story. Yeah. <laughs> run over a few you video games help. Hey man, they help, bro. Hey, they, no, they, they, oh, sorry, no, no, we we don't have good D. Remember, <laughs> not, like said, okay. we don't have good D. Well, we're not in we, her. We didn't make the top team that we really don't care about, but you know, <laughs> well, we're we're not on we're not on her list. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> have to worry about that one. I but wonder he, if they. I wonder if any of the dudes she ever did smash saw that video. Like what? She don't even know I was playing games. I know she talking about me. It takes was, her. <laughs> so if I'm not top 10, what number am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you 11, baby. You 11. Now, how many you she throw that to? <laughs> I, know the, I, know the nigga, I know the niggas that did smash that play games. I'm like, what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? what you mean? That's all them niggas, bro. It's all of them, bro. God, them, them, the, them all the dislikes. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> the 10K dislikes. All them dislikes. niggas like. 
This all them niggas like, bro, you got me fucked up, nigga. I broke your, I broke your spine in, and I went to play GTA afterwards, nigga. What are you talking about? You was asleep. You ain't know. <laughs> you know, you, you know, asleep, some, nigga. Some women know our ego, so some women use that as a very, mm-hmm. they they use that as their number one power tool to stab at our ego because they know. Oh, you wasn't really that. Oh, I wasn't that good, huh? But guess what? I still beat. <laughs> You know what? And and let's talk about that because I think at a certain age you stop caring. Like nah, about, yeah, like because when we're young, it's like it's all about mm-hmm. you know, the the report. How did I do, man? I, man, I wanted from I'm getting it. You know, when you're young, you're trying to get in there, you're trying to get it. <laughs> of course, you're popping. You, you don't want to look, you know, bad out here in these streets where you moving and grooving. Um, but as you get older, bro, it's just like man, whatever, bro. I already got some moves on me that I know gonna work. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> not gonna get her to the to the to the finish line. And uh, as long as that happened, I'm straight. Maybe two times. And you know, hey, oh, that was a real good night. You know, yeah, that, you lay down, chill. Darn I know where I'm at. Yeah, you can't talk shit about me once I'm past a certain age because it's just like because it don't like, matter. It's like, it, bro, well, <laughs> them pictures you sent. Sure, I didn't ask you to send those. You know what I'm saying? So you chose to. To entice oh, me man. over there, so it's like, who really lost here? Okay, all right, stupid, I'll see you bro. later on the night. <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> Be ready. We're Be still ready. on, right? We're, We're still, still on, on, right? <laughs> okay, you that's, what it. <laughs> that's what I thought. You cheese me, <laughs> cheese me dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't even link no more. You don't even yeah, link really no more. Way back then, but how about now? <laughs> That's when you play that music. You know what? I'm not coming no more. Wait, what are you doing? Come back. I was just playing. I'm gonna go to my PS5. She yeah. talking. That's, hey, that's <laughs> a song. I need to. I need to. I need to write a song for Drake, dude. <laughs> right? <laughs> he probably already on it, bro. It's coming out in January. <laughs> for real. <laughs> he certified. Certified mm-hmm. lover boy. Certified lover boy. Mm-hmm. Man, I seen uh everybody posting their they stats, man. Uh, it was mm-hmm. crazy to see everybody um the numbers that Spotify. they did. Were were y'all surprised by anyone? Uh not by me. <laughs> talking about I mean, what, what what you talking about? Like as artists <laughs> that uh Post that they Spotify stats with listeners and stuff like that for the year. Uh, where I was surprised by the little surprised. Kiki. I didn't realize how many people was still like jamming him. That was pretty how many? Dope how many? Yeah, it was a decent amount. He was in like mm. in the millions streams. I was like, damn, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta think about it. Though, Bun bro, B like, as well. I was. Mm-hmm. I think uh, that that kind of. I was like, oh, that's live. Like, Those yeah, artists, um, especially the little Kikis, the Slim Thugs, the. You know, a lot of those cats from Texas, like Texas is so big, you can you can get all of those followers just from Texas alone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they they the reason why they don't really just move around because they make so much bank from touring like San Antonio or Dallas, like, locally. You know, Dallas awesome. or any of these little like different small towns in Texas, El Paso, <laughs> like like they can sell out, you know shows in, in El Paso or or wherever like like that so it's like you know for them like they gonna continue to get they gonna get streams like just out of Texas alone mm, not on right. top of the people that's you know in different countries different states you know whatever the case may be so you mm. know Texas te- the, the Texas artists are, are a little little bit different but you know it was definitely good seeing yeah, um, talk your a shit. lot of my friends Mm-hmm. Uh, posting their stuff and you know doing all that. I don't have Spotify really, so I mean it's mm-hmm. on there. So I don't know how many people listen to my shit on Spotify, but right. I don't necessarily have it, so I can't I can't really look and see. But um, you know, it was it was super dope to see. You know, people was like, man, I ain't know any motherfuckers listening to me in Norway and you know and and all this different kind of That's stuff. So, yeah, so it's, it's super dope, man. It was it was dope to see Russ. He he had a Billy. Oh, for real. Billy Streams, man. That sounds about right because he he a lot of people like his music. Definitely. I think it was uh Russ had a Billy, uh Young Boy had a Billy that I seen. That's yeah, that um, who who else? It was, it was a, quite a few of them. Um Young Devil had a Billy too. Oh damn. Yeah, it was it, it was a quite a few. <laughs> I was gonna see we I said, Oh damn, wait a minute, Young Devil. No, I just, I just I just scroll past that. Um, <laughs> Fuck his young devil. <laughs> no, no game to look like. 
But you never know, nigga. Shit, I ain't know who Lil Key was until me and Ross oh, reacted Key, to yeah. his little freestyle, and I was like, "What?" Oh, and Lil I want to give a, a a quick shout out. I found some information last night. Uh, go I was DJ. about to say no, Ross. No, <laughs> no. A uh, go DJ Hot C man, local DJ in Houston area. Oh uh, yeah, know. shout out to Hot yeah. C man. Uh, he actually he's an official DJ for Keisha Cole, and he actually uh supposed Keisha Cole is supposed to be doing a versus. With uh Ashanti coming up, so he, I was did like, you just, yep. did you just drop an exclusive? I just dropped an exclusive, bro. Oh, oh man, bro, it's, you, it's, you, it's, you you in the clutch? So it's, it, it was dope for him to announce that, man. They 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 in the works of setting it up, but it, he gonna be the official DJ, so he gonna be out there mixing, and spinning her stuff. So I I love seeing my black people, bro, just doing doing dope stuff like that, especially from the city. So it was it was dope to see that, bro. I was like, yo, I'm, who you got? Uh, that, that's 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 a tough that's a one, bro. One. Like, yeah. I think I that think Keisha Keisha got them like them hit one. like them hitters that mm. was like that 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 stuck for a long time like that to me. But Ashanti, Ashanti got stuff them rings like stuff, stuff rings. Yeah, off, it's no matter yeah. what. Her shit rings off. That's a tough one, bro. I don't even know. I have you have to come back with me on that one. I think that's gonna be a a good one. I think a lot of people are gonna tune in on that one for sure. I just hope like, Ashanti stands up the whole time. Oh man, a lot of a lot of the hurt, the hurt, the hurt women, the said, women is just oh, yeah. I hope Ashanti stands up the whole time. Hey, at an angle for real. Like, <laughs> Hey, hey, really, I mean, hey, shit, both of them. Yeah, Kisha Cole looked good, too. Yeah. She got back to too. Wait, wait, why did he sit back? You yeah, got too I comfortable, hope. David. Come that on, nigga man, get the... back. Yeah, boy, oh, drop can... one hand. <laughs> shit, I hope she, you know what I'm saying, stand up the whole time. Yeah. Get on, get on, com- <laughs> at an angle. You know, at an angle. angle. Bro. At an angle. <laughs> Hit it with the hip yeah, swing. You know what I'm talking about? I think, I think that'll be a... um. That'll, that'll be a good one. Um, it's, it's it's been entertaining, you know, for this whole COVID situation. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was I pretty didn't. live that they was able to kind of come up with that concept uh, to pretty much keep people going, you know, and and keep piece of people musically uh, excited and inclined. Mm-hmm. You know? And it helps out the streams, bro. People go listen to the songs they haven't listened to. It's it's it's, it's a good business plan. I've seen bro. some old Gucci. I, I, uh, on the top list, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. like it's it's a good business plan. You know them labels, they loving that. Well, like, I give it to Timberland and because <laughs> you know they did this to entertain us, but they are helping these artists tremendously. Oh like, yeah, for sure. Look, Since boys can't I, really really yeah. tour like that, you know what I'm saying. And these are like established artists. Like these are. I think they don't the they game. get a bag for that too. I believe. Oh yeah, no, just yeah. them going to the verses. They, they yeah, automatically they, get a. They, I think they're giving them a percentage of the views too. You know, <clears throat> Gucci and Jeezy oh, had they, the whole world watching. They yeah. were crazy, bro. Didn't yeah. they hit like one point eight? Mm-hmm. I seen a lot I seen, of people, bro. I seen Ben Carson on there. I was like, what? Charlie, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, what, what, what did y'all what did y'all think about the, the Gucci and uh and um uh, and Jeezy versus? I just didn't want to get shot through my phone. Yeah, I, I was just hoping That's why I didn't watch it until later. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't gonna be <laughs> too violent, but I'm, I'm glad they was at least able, you know, what I'm saying. To, I was yeah for the I, most I, part, you know, finish. It. Said, Damn, I know Gucci Damn. had a lot on his heart. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. I said, oh. He, no, but he looked at the nigga and did the yeah. dirt shovel move. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that's bro. over. I said, all right, bro. It's time to cut it off because yeah, it's about bro. to get real. I don't yeah, want to witness nothing live. So but they, they you know what I'm saying? They, it was cool for them to perform that so icy song. And it's not to say that they just best friends or anything, but it shows that, bro, we can, we can, we can coexist. We don't have to be cool. We ain't got to be best friends, but we can coexist. And it don't get to the violence mm-hmm. that you know we've been seeing so it much made, in in the younger in the younger you know younger generation of upcoming rappers, bro. Like, I don't like you. You don't like me for whatever reason. I we ain't gotta go. We ain't gotta come to guns. We ain't gotta come to fighting. I right, you do your thing. I do my thing. And there it is. But like yeah. MC say, it's a lot of money to be made. That's that's paid the smart. But but just like y'all said, bro, it's still a lot of dumb niggas out there. Cause I seen a lot of posts from niggas like niggas in the quote unquote quote unquote in the streets. Um <clears throat> and they were like, Man, the people know why Gucci won. Man, that nigga Jeezy is like, man, come on, bro. Like these niggas can perform together, 
<clears throat> again, like Ross said, they ain't got to be friends, but they 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 showed that we can coexist, we can get along, and and be cordial. And people were still like trying to rev on a beef, and I'm like, bro, see, that's our problem. Like, let's let's let it go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Whatever happened, work. happened. We we don't know what the fuck really happened. Like it's mm-hmm. only them and whoever in their camps know mm-hmm. that was around at the time what really happened. Mm-hmm. A lot of people was just you know viewing and throwing opinions outside of the stadium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like <clears throat> whatever it was, it was years ago. They birthed a lot of people, both of them with the, mm-hmm. between their beefs, and they was able to show that they, hey man, we we can come together, we can show love. They can say, I appreciate you. And that was, to me, that was big. You know, I was proud of that moment because I think that showed a lot of younger cats like, hey, man, all these little minor beefs and stuff like that that we got going on there that's really uh, these minor beefs that's causing major um, problems, you know, and and affecting families and stuff like that because I don't like that you said something on the track, so I'm trying to kill you for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, we lost too many artists this this past month. Too many, bro. That is just over the same stuff. Is 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 a is an artist myself. I gotta tell you know these young artists too, man. It's like yo, you also gotta learn when you get to a certain statue to stay out the way, bro. It's like at the end of the day, like you can't be you know getting it, having, having all this jewelry, having this money, you know, mm-hmm. being uh having having all this this, this different this stature, you know what I'm saying of 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 of, of success that you have. And that's cool, but at the same time, you can't be like, oh, well, I'm going to rap about, you know, a, a young nigga from my clique killing a young nigga from the rival clique. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still rapping about this, this street shit as if I'm out here doing it too, or I still mm-hmm. like rock with it because them young niggas that's coming up, they listening to that shit and they like, oh, like, you think this a game. So mm-hmm. it's like, they no, don't have to lose. You know what I'm saying? They just like, you know, we gonna go, we gonna, we gonna make sure we go take care of that nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing that that happened with Boosie. Like, you know, like for us, our generation, like we love Boosie, we rock with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the young niggas, they don't know or give a well, they know, but they don't give a fuck about who mm-hmm. Boosie is or what he didn't did. They don't give a fuck about a wipe me down. So at the end of the day, mm-hmm. it's like, yo, you coming to you coming to Dallas? You know what I'm saying? Fucking with this nigga that we don't fuck with, I don't care if you come for his funeral or not, you finna be right with that nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's how we mm-hmm. been So, it's like, you got to be, you have to be super careful mm-hmm. in, in how you move, and it was crazy, because Boosie had just did uh, an interview with DJ Vlad, where he was talking about, like, he was gonna start, he was gonna slow down, he was gonna chill out, you know, he was gonna stop going, mm-hmm. going and moving somewhere, and then, like, the next thing you know, he gets shot, you know? So, it's like, yo, that was a warning, for you, like to yo, I, I I fuck with Mo Three. That's my nigga, but I might not need to show up. You know what I'm saying? Cause the streets is hot right now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely yeah. You know, so it's 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 all about making smart decisions and just you know what I'm saying, staying out the way when you get to a certain level. That's just what it is. You you're above the street shit now. You mm-hmm. did everything you could to make it to get away from that environment why are you still going back or being affiliated Thanks. with that environment you know what i'm saying it makes no sense but you know hey it makes no nigga, sense nigga, 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 nigga. nah that's that's real big facts bro and it's, I, I wish it wasn't like that in our culture you know i wish that wasn't a theme mm-hmm. um i wish it wasn't so big that um that the influence of <clears throat> gangs and just rivalry and killing each other just through Wax was such a high part of it. You know, I just, mm-hmm. I personally wish it wasn't like that. I wish people can just show how nice they was, um, spit a couple of verses and go about their business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, that's one thing that just, you know, I love music myself. And that's, that's one thing that also amped me to just create more. Because at a point in time, it made me feel like, like, I don't want to be a part of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. just, I had this mentality for a while, to be honest. Like, man, I don't really... Like, I want to do music, but I don't want to be in the genre that uh, idolizes that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's destruction and and it's, it's, it's toxic, you know, and you you wish and you realize, like, man, you know what, but you got to be that piece that may promote the, the positive part of it. You know, like the J. Coles and stuff like that, the Kendricks, the people that may have mm-hmm. grew up in these situations, but they can show you that, hey, 
I learned how to maneuver better and use better choices to get myself and my family out of the out of the struggle and out of the slums. And um, I wish more people saw it like that. Like, you know, let me go get this money and, you know, put my people on. Let me get my children out of this situation so they don't have to grow up how I did. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? on whatever block you think or hood you think is the hardest in the world. Like, nigga, you don't own that motherfucker. Like, we nah, we got to yeah. stop, like, idolizing these streets and neighborhoods that we don't have a dollar on. <laughs> like, it's just, mm-hmm. you know, and it's, it's very, that, I think that alone is the, the topic of the world. Stop fucking idolizing these streets, these blocks, these hoods you grew up in, and you don't own shit in it. Mm-hmm. These white people, these white people come back when they feel like it, buy the shit back up, and then make it better because it don't flood where they used to live. At. I mean, it don't flood here like it did when they where they used to live at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's just one of them things, man. Where it's 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 uncommon sense and dumb people leading dumb people, and you just hope that one day people the light bulb kind of comes on before it's too late. Mm-hmm. You know, that's we we in a marathon right now, man. But at the same time, you still running. You know, it may not be a race, but you still running and wake up before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you get you only get so many chances to, to get it right. Thanks. You know, this ain't an eternity. We don't just live forever. <laughs> you know, like, ah, nah, you messed up. You, you come back. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not it's not one of them nah, it's not one of them situations, bro. It's one and you done. That's it. It's one and done, man. So one enjoy done, your bro. life to the fullest. And I I want to say this too, bro. Like growing up struggling <clears throat> and not being exposed or now being exposed to all the things in the world that I didn't even know you could do or see, and all the things that that you you kind of like get um introduced to. Why don't you want to see that those things and experience those things? You know what I'm saying? Like niggas act like the the square. They are, they just gotta stay in that little box and it's like, nah, nigga, I can't go out the hood, bro. Nah, nigga, I ain't I ain't trying to. My like, bro, it's a whole world for us to see and mm-hmm. things that we can experience. And and I, it's like our mentality is so closed in with the hood and hood shit. We don't live. A lot of niggas not living. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's I think that's a real big problem because people and people yoloing so much that they forgetting that you it's okay to get older, you know yeah. it's okay to be an old man, and is I have a problem with people who mad at being old, <laughs> you know y'all know well, right. that be <clears throat> I, I, mean, I, I wish I was twenty. Yeah, it's like what you mad for, man? You made it. It's right. a twenty year old that mm-hmm. didn't make it to twenty. You know, or 19 year old that didn't make it to 20, or you know, even and it's crazy, even for our generation. Like, I know a slew of people that didn't make it to 21, mm-hmm. let alone 22, 23, 24, 25, 28. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like it's just one of them things, bro. It's, we we gotta change our mentality, we gotta be the change that we want to see. We gotta stop talking, stop being so opinionated and Point the motherfucking finger back at yourself when you want to make an opinion about somebody else. What could you do better to be in a better example to that young man, yep. that young lady to to do and move mm-hmm. better? You know, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, that that was a lot, but you know, no, I, mean, I had to get that shit off, cuz. Nah, that was that was a mouthful, but uh, well, it, it definitely needed to be said, man. I, I think that's something that you know we need to continue to push on this platform just you know us facts coming together bro that's that's what it's all about we can have fun we can joke whatever but coming together you know and you know just trying to trying to enjoy life bro that's that's really mm-hmm. all it is man we say it all the time we say it every day it's short life is short but you know we just got to come together man and enjoy the time that we have on this earth because once your time's up that's it you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather enjoy my life and have left something, you know, for people to remember me in the positive light. And, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? All he did was do this and do that in the hood. And that was it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, you know, you got one more out of life. And so that's what we we try to promote, bro. Just one more out of life, one better, better for yourself. And, uh, you know, growing as a person, bro. That's really it. <laughs> No, nah, big facts, man. And and you know this this was a very <clears throat> needed podcast because we touched on Good a lot one. of key things. A lot of every time Devin come back, his <laughs> headphones is somewhere else. <laughs> I'm on the phone. My bad. I'm trying to 
find somebody for a post tonight. I apologize. He on that X X and X. Shit getting hot and heavy over there. Headphones like the headphones going crazy. No, nah, he was watching yeah. a Shawnee video. Mm. She, okay. <laughs> the, boy, the boy went to the fall slowly with her yeah. joining. <laughs> yeah. Stand up the whole time at an angle. No, <laughs> there we go, leaning there. back again. <laughs> was that their only fans gospel edition? Hey, you know what? That's funny. I, I I thought about that. I, I asked my wife that. I was you like, thought about uh, the only fans gospel? No, fool. Oh. I'm talking about like when I was talking about the joiner. <laughs> I'm on the joiner. In uh, I know, I know. video, uh, but if I had to become an actor where they had like a a, a sex scene, <laughs> oh, I, I asked my I asked Nisha, will she would she be all right with that? She was like, nah, just guess she's yeah. just not gonna do that part. Or you just, I'm like, but well, come on, man, they paying me millions of dollars. Like, nah, let's Nisha say I'm not having that, bro. Let's say I'm ghost. You can tell. Uh, <laughs> Nisha not having that, bro. You can hang that up, bro. Nisha will shut that sit down. All what would y'all do? Like, you know what? She, she, I want that to be the last be question. Hmm? Oh, she would be there. She she she's definitely. Be there. Yeah, she'll be there. All right, her, her video. crip cause it's gonna be all be there, nigga. Oh, they gonna all, all the in video. the back. What's good? You know what I'm saying? What's, right, what's now you trying to start some stuff. <laughs> now you trying to now you trying to mess me up for the like, holidays. Why y'all got the nigga wearing red? Why he can't wear blue in this one? <laughs> why he can't wear blue in the scene? Huh? Hey Ross, Ross, Ross yeah. I Ross, gotta see these people, Ross. <laughs> you know, hey, Ross, you, you ain't got no room to talk having all that goddamn red on in that van. <laughs> hey, bro, I didn't hop out the van. That's all <laughs> that matters. Ross, Ross, my black was, ass in the van. Ross was not gonna move, bro. That nigga wasn't getting out for <laughs> I shit. I wasn't getting out for If the tire was flat, he wasn't gonna help jack that motherfucker up or nothing. We was gonna be sitting there. Nope, you goddamn right, bro. I like, shit, we in a unfamiliar territory. I'm going to just sit right here. Y'all do what y'all do. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> come back quick. Hey, you know what? I, I can't wait for us to take a, uh, another trip. I, I need another yeah. trip. I yeah, I'm down for another trip. I think we can, we can much do a, needed, man. Uh, everybody, then we can do a fellas one or something like that. But we, yeah. we definitely need another trip, man. I'm with it. Uh, to make some more memories. Clear up, hopefully, sometime next year. At some point, it, it gets a little bit better. I'm hoping right. so. Yeah, I, I, I actually talked. To, I actually wanted to. Wanted to. Um, I was like, man, I think it'd be dope to do a cruise. Uh, man, you in this water shit, bro? What's up? Right, with you? <laughs> hey, I, I'm telling you, the water is dope, man. Man, I ain't with the water, bro. Like you, you, you the only one <laughs> be trying to put me on the water. Yeah, well, hey, I, I know Ross had had done it. Mm -mm. Or whatever. Ross didn't even want to do your surprise. <laughs> I know, right? Like he, did. he was trying to figure oh. out how to get out of it. Yeah, I yeah, Ross, the whole oh, time. Ross was like this the whole time. Man, oh, I was yeah, in that hole chilling. He was contemplating life. Yo, I'm trying to tell hey, Cruising. Oh, oh. And I need I need all y'all in the comment section down below to uh to, to say to how it. dope cruises are. For I want niggas be in that hole. Nah, that shit was awful, bro. My nah, shit. Uh, <laughs> cruises are fun, man. Cruises are fun. Hey man, <laughs> this is a good episode, bro. <laughs> right. I appreciate. It. There he go. Appreciate y'all boys for joining. I right, appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep it real. Episode At PS Five Brothers, we stand the, live. We the stand no cruise, proud. no cruise connect. <laughs> Maybe nah, one I, day, bro. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind hitting the cruise. Maybe one, one day. day. This one all day. jokes aside. Look Nigga, say one day for fifty years. Never. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> One day, when now you got you got you got to do it when you're young, bro. So you can you can drink and I'm always be young. <laughs> you know, I'll be young. I'm young forever. Uh, you we, we're gonna be up. we're gonna be a funny group of old people, man. Facts, bro. I, I think yeah. I think that'll big be, facts. Like we even older, I feel like we ain't gonna take shit serious sometimes. Like, mm. um, we really ain't gonna care what folks say. You're oh, really man. not gonna give a damn, nigga. We, I'm 84. We, we, Who gonna tell me to be nigga, quiet? I survived yeah. 2020. You can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> that is my response, Bruh. nigga. I survived old. 2020. It ain't, be, it ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be smooth. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it. Hey man, I, I, hey, I, I hope we. Uh, I hope the Lord does bless us to 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 That's see right. those, those ages. Yeah, right, man. Same here, man. Same here, bro. Real. So, yeah. this was a double, man. I, I enjoyed Speaking this into existence. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Nah, for real. It was much needed, man. It was much had. Uh, the, the, the fellas, fellas, man. Just the fellas, the fellas this time. Man. Just the fellas. Getting they, getting they shit off. You feel yeah, me? Getting, getting our shit getting off. Our, uh, but not tops. <sighs> but in, in this hand. <laughs> Anyways, huh? Oh, let me let me let me take some time to plug real quick, man. Plug oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so for everybody out there that needs any mixing, uh, we do uh, everything, man. Hundred grand. Go check out hundred grand. Uh, hundred K uh, collective on Instagram. One hundred K collective on Instagram. Go ahead and, and and do that. Come out to Houston if you need uh, anything from production writing. Uh, uh, just the whole nine. If you're an artist and you're very serious about your craft, definitely come fuck with us, man. We got a whole team of songwriters, producers, engineers, everything is doing our thing. So please make sure you go ahead and check out 100K Collective on Instagram and also follow us, uh, uh, our individual uh, Instagram accounts to uh, book us for anything that you got going on. Man. Nah, for sure. Y'all do that, man. Y'all might get a feature from me and Joe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a hell of a bonus. Yeah. Now I got a, I got like a few features, man. I'm, saying, <laughs> people have been telling me to 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 get with them all, man. But uh, uh, again, man, I'm I'm definitely tapping back into music, but definitely go support the homie Joe and the hundred grand. Uh, they doing their thing over there, man. So we always want to support our brothers. Uh, mm-hmm. that's they got their mind on the prize, and as as willing to put the work in, it's a it's a it's dedicated too. You Facts. know, it's, and they're serious For about sure. their craft. And then, you know, you always want to follow up and kind of pursue and work with anybody that's serious, like mm-hmm. real, real about the craft. So, um, well, them, nah, them shout out to them. The word serious. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get that Samuel. <laughs> but nah, man, we love you guys, man. Hope y'all staying safe out there during that COVID miss. Yeah, man. Uh, mm. And as it gets a little chilly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay, stay warm in them streets. Stay warm, man. Yeah. Them cheeks. In them the seats. <laughs> That's how we ended. <laughs> <laughs>